In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Catholic Meditation. Greetings, beloved of the Lord, and welcome. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 19th of November, 2022. It is Saturday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time, Church ESC. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verses 4 to 12. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 144. The response to the psalm is, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. The Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 20, verses 27 to 40. I read from the Gospel. At that time, there came to Jesus some Sadducees, those who say that there is no resurrection. And they asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, Having a wife but no children, the man must take the wife and raise up children for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first took a wife and died without children, and the second and the third took her, and likewise all seven left no children and died. Afterward, the woman also died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For the seven had her as wife. And Jesus said to them, The sons of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are accounted worthy to attain to that age and to the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage, for they cannot die any more, because they are equal to angels and are sons of God, being sons of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed in the passage about the bush, where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now, he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. And some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you have spoken well for they no longer dared to ask him any question. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Life is continuity, a continuous process from heaven to earth and back to heaven. Life is is continuity, a continuous process from heaven to earth and back to heaven. Dearly beloved of the Lord, let us look at the gospel text of today from another dimension. I'd like us to look at it from the point of view of continuity. Life is a continuous process from heaven, because before ever we were conceived, God had us in his mind. And from heaven, we were born after we were conceived, and we grow, and later we die. But life does not end in death. It is a continuous process. We return to life in heaven from whence we came. So life is one continuous process from heaven to earth and back to heaven. The text of today talks about continuity in different aspects. 
first in the sense that our history is part of us and our tomorrow depends on today. A person cannot be cut off from their roots. We celebrate our parents and our grandparents and even great-grandparents because without them, we would not have been as well. And similarly, children today will be celebrated by their own children tomorrow when they too become parents. It is a continuous process. And we cannot detach ourselves from our ancestors because without them, we would not have been. And similarly, generations to come cannot detach themselves from us. Africans especially worry lots about continuity of their family line. Men worry about having sons. And I know men who have been forced to marry second wives or who have divorced their wives looking for others, all because they are in a bid to get a son who will be an heir to continue their lineage, the family name. God is continuously with us. He was there yesterday. He is there today and he will be there tomorrow. He is often described as the God who was, who is, and who will come. Confer Revelation chapter 1 verse 4 and Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Israel understood this continuity. They often made allusion to their past history and to their ancestors, their ancestry, the patriarchs. Hence, they often called and described God as the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. This was to show that they were part of that history, and it was a continuous history for the very God who was the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob was their same God. It was a continuous history. They could not be cut off from their ancestors. Life to beloved is continuous. There is life after death. We continue to live even after we die. This was the same thinking the Jews had that led them to the tradition of a man marrying his brother's widow to have children to continue the family line. Life is continuity, beloved. We should value continuity also in the things we do, in the work we do, in the things we do, beloved. When you come to an office, it is important to continue continuity, not to cancel whatever your predecessor did, but it's important to continue because in God's house, in whatever work we do, we are all, each of us in our different ways, laying a block and the work you do today, some other person will come to continue till that building is completed. We should therefore pray that we may continue life in heaven when this earthly life is ended. Do not be lost forever. As much as you desire to continue your family lineage here on earth, not wanting your family name to be lost on earth, because many worry about having sons who will be heirs because they do not want the family name to be lost and wiped out, desire even the more to continue your life in heaven. Because I tell you, here on earth, you may struggle, but we are passing because life is continuous. Worry about having that place in heaven where life never ends. Let us pray for that grace that we may always treasure continuity in whatever we do. We may hold it dear, but above all, we may pray that we may continue our life in heaven when this earthly pilgrimage is done. We wish each and every one of you a happy weekend and a blessed celebration of the solemnity of tomorrow. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed.